Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Options Learning Center. My name is Rick Orford, and I've been a stock and options trader since 1999. And today, I'm excited to show you how to buy long call condors and use bar chart to get the most out of the strategy. A long call condor spread is a directionally neutral options trading strategy that uses four call options with the same underlying asset and expiration date, but each at higher strike prices. It works well when you expect an underlying asset to trade with low volatility until expiration, that way you'll achieve maximum profit. To set up the trade, You'll start by buying an in-the-money call at one strike price, then sell another call at a higher strike price, sell another at an even higher strike, and finally buy a call at the highest strike. The result is a bull call and bear call spread that creates a long call condor, which results in a net debit. The goal of the long call condor is for the asset to stay between the two middle strike prices at expiration. If that happens, maximum profit will be achieved at expiration when the options settle. The maximum profit on a long call condor is the difference between the strike prices of the bull call spread, so that's the lower spread width, minus the net debit paid. The maximum loss is limited to the net debit paid, at the start of the trade, and that happens if the asset price at expiration either trades below the lowest strike or above the highest strike price. Traders usually screen the market for assets to use on long call condors, but they can sometimes identify a specific asset beforehand. I'm going to discuss how to do both of these using bar chart. So let's start with screening the market first, then specific assets later. Okay, so let's head on over to barchart.com. Once you're there, click on options at the top, then look for a long call condor near the end of the lists here on the right. This will immediately bring you to the results page where you can find some default trades. And these results are a perfect place to start. The headlines include all the necessary information and you can arrange them from highest to lowest or vice versa by clicking on the column header. You can also tweak the results on the Filters page. To do so, click on the Set Filters tab. On this page, you can type in the filter that you want on the Add Filter field, and then click on Add. If you don't know what you're looking for, you can click on the drop-down here and select what you need. The filters include stock and option information, like option analysis, underlying prices, and trade details, technicals, you name it, it's all there. You can also remove filters that you don't want or need. The rest of the values are there by default, and they work as a starting point. But, of course, you can change them if you like. For example, let's scroll down to probability of profit. As the name suggests, this filter shows the chance of you profiting from the trade even by one penny. Since long call condors typically have low payout percentages or high risk reward ratios, you'll want to minimize this value without sacrificing too much potential profit. Not only that, long call condors don't have high profit probabilities. So I'm going to set the probability here to 60 or more, and then I'll click See Results. Okay, now we'll arrange the results from highest probability of profit. And there we have it, a likely trade candidate. Now, before I get to the trade example, it's important to know that you can save your screener to reuse it later. You can also have Bar Chart email you at a specified time with your trades. Just click Save Screener near the top right, and then type in the name of the screener, it can be anything you like, and then click on when you want the email to arrive. That's it. Now, let's go ahead and pick apart this trade. According to the screener, you can set up a long call condor on Tesla with the stock currently trading at $238.25. And here's how this trade would work. For the bull call, you can buy the $200 strike call paying a premium of $42.50 per share and sell the $225 strike call for $23.75 a share. For the bear call side, 
you'd sell the $325 strike call, collecting $1.20 per share, and then buy the $350 strike call for $0.65 cents a share. This setup results in a total debit of $18.20 a share, or $1,820 per contract. Your maximum profit on the trade is $6.80 per share, or $680 per contract. All options expire on October 18th, which at the date of the recording is 25 days remaining until expiration. The trade also has a 67.2% probability of profit. For easier trade calculations, it's best to know the break-even points to the upside as well as the downside. Add the net debit to the lower long call strike to get the break-even price to the downside. For the break-even to the upside, subtract the net premium paid from the higher long call strike. So that makes your break-even points $218.20 on the lower end and $331.80 on the upper end. If the price of Tesla stock trades between $225 and $325 at expiration, you'll hit the maximum profit condition for the trade. And this is calculated by taking the width of either of the spreads, since they have equal distance, and subtracting the premium paid to set up the long call condor. And this works out to $6.80, or $680 per contract. If, however, Tesla's stock price moves beyond either of the long strikes that's below $200 or above $350, your trade enters its maximum loss condition. And the maximum loss is simply what you paid to enter the trade, which is $18.20 a share or $1,820 per contract. Here's how the long call condor looks across different price points at expiration. As you can see, the profit zone is in the middle, between the two short strike prices. As the stock price moves above or below the short calls, the trade starts to lose money. If the stock moves beyond the long strikes, the maximum loss, which is the net debit paid, will be reached. That's why long call condors are perfect for low volatility assets, as they profit when the stock trades between a certain range. So that's screening the entire market for assets to use in a long call condor. But what if you have a specific stock in mind? Well, that's also easy, and let me show you how. First, if you aren't already there, let's go to barchart.com, then search for the asset using the search bar. For example, type in Microsoft. Once you're on the stock's profile page, navigate to the left and look for condor strategies. Then. Click the Long Call Condor tab, and you'll see the default search results. You can click on the drop-down to change expiration dates, change trade legs, rearrange each column, or click the Screen button, then set Filter to reach the Options Screener page for a more granular search. Now, it's always a good idea to close your positions right before expiration when using any strategy that requires writing or selling options. For this example, you have two short positions in the trade, and if either of them are in the money at expiration, well, that one will be exercised automatically, or in your perspective, you'll be assigned. If any of the short calls gets assigned, you'll be obligated to sell 100 shares of stock for every contract you wrote. This means you might need to purchase the shares at the current market price, which could be higher than the strike price, and then sell them at the strike price, potentially resulting in a loss. You can also sell your long call positions to capture any remaining value, which could mitigate some of your losses or even reach probability if they haven't expired yet. But keep an eye out for trading fees, as they might make buying the shares back from the market more preferable. Like most spreads, the long call condor has a well-defined risk and reward profile. The strategy is great for low volatility or neutral markets. Lastly, the trade is very flexible, with strike prices, spread widths, and all other setup details adjustable according to your own unique trading and risk preferences. However, long call condors have limited trading potential. Setting the spreads too wide can also result in significantly reduced profitability.
Additionally, any strategy that requires writing options, the risk of early assignment is always present. Managing and adjusting your trades during significant price swings and changing markets can also be challenging. Lastly, your admittedly limited profitability can be further impacted by trading fees since you need four option legs for a long call condor. The long call condor is ideal in sideways or neutral markets, though it ends in a net debit and may lead to high trading fees. So it's best to keep your eye on the trades and maximize your profit potential by using every resource at your disposal, like bar charts option screeners. Now, if you need more information, don't hesitate to visit the Option Learning Center, where you can learn more about all of the other option trading strategies, how they work, and how to profit from each.